of Antigua and Barbuda to the United States of America as well as to the Organization of American States. In other words, I do two jobs, one salary. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, that, that's another way, again, Sam, that's another way of how small island states must conduct their foreign policy, in that it's very expensive to have um, a, an embassy or permanent mission, and therefore you have to combine forces. And so I am the ambassador to the United States, as well as the permanent representative to the Organization of American States. My journey began when I was 11, when I decided that I was going to be a diplomat. Now, what makes this so strange or so um, unbelievable is that we were still under the British flag. So Britain was at that time responsible for our defense and also our security. But the power of having a vision, the power of having a dream, nobody told me about that obstacles. I didn't, I didn't use that because I didn't know about it. And sometimes ignorance is bliss. And so, I therefore set out in my mind to be a diplomat at age 11. I was going through a Vogue magazine and I came across this princess from Africa, Africa called Princess Elizabeth of Uganda and she was stationed at the UN and I said, hmm, if she can do it, I can do it too. Well, no one told me I was not a princess, but to me, I was, I was a princess and so the power as well of just having self-esteem and believing in yourself.